What is this? Yo, look, Brianna. It's my dad's squad. What's up, daddy -o? What we got going on over here, man? What can I get you today? I'll take some milk and a brownie. You want a brownie also? Yeah. Okay. Last night I didn't sleep, and my daughter looks at me like a hero. Now I have to tell her that I made a huge mistake. I may be going away for a long time, and I need to prepare Rihanna for what's going to happen. How's basketball going? Good. Whenever you need some help with your dribbling skills, shooting, whatever, I got some. I got something to teach you. I gotta talk to you about something. I told you before um, that I was fighting a case. Mm -hmm. What I'm charged with is carrying a weapon when I wasn't supposed to have one, right? Okay. Now, what that carries is a period of jail time anywhere between four months to six months away from you. Get me choked up here. Rihanna's tears are tears from my failure. Those tears broke my heart. But this is why I tell you, make smart decisions. Hang around smart people. Hang around people that's going to influence you to do something right with your life. This is real life that we're living in. Real goes on, you know? I didn't mean to hurt your feelings, but your dad just made a stupid mistake. Right now, I'm facing charges, and I'm facing my consequences. Sometimes it all gets a little too much. But you got to realize that soon the fog will clear up. When you're in a prison system, you locked in. If my daughter really needs me for anything, I'm not going to be there. It's so painful, it's almost close to being dead. And you don't have to be afraid because we're all the same. And we know that sometimes it all gets a little too much. Seeing my daughter like this just makes me want to scoop her up and go somewhere far away so we won't have to deal with this type of pain. Uh, the moments we all waited for, dreaming down on the first, we all paying for. A lot of emotions going on. Today, I'm gonna turn myself in, start boot camp. Bree, it's time to get up, baby. I don't even really know, you know what I'm saying, like how to deal with it at this moment. It's, it's definitely a hard situation. When you leaving your, your baby girl behind, that's up. Are you worried? If you go in there and you don't act like a damn fool, serve your time. That's all I can really do. I'm going to work on my artwork in that. And when I come home, I can start teaching you. This is what you call a minor setback for a major comeback. OK? Yeah. Always think that. So when I come home, I'm going to be stronger. I'm going to be healthier. I'm going to be wiser. I know that I did something wrong. And for me to be able to tell my daughter that, you know, I up, I'm the one that did this. And now I have to deal with the consequences. What's happening? How y'all doing? Hey. Reason, man. Hey, <laughs> it hurts to see my big brother go through this. Because I love Van. And I got to be here for him like I promised I would. I got you, bro. All right? Take my word, bro. I got you, bro. 
Hey, hey, look at me. Don't say no goodbye. Just I'm gonna see you later. See you in a minute. Say no goodbye, bro. I mean, ain't no good way to feel about Van being gone. It's a f up situation. He gotta go do this time for something that he did. We all men in this and now he gotta deal with this consequence. For us just living how the hell we know to live. And handle this grown man business real quick. We got her. That's the only that matter. Uh huh. Love you, baby. Hold the together, man. You already know. Man, I just want y'all to know I love y'all, man. I don't even want to let her go, man. That's crazy. Hey, Brianna, we got her, bro. I have no idea what Nine Mag is going to be like without Ben. I mean, he's literally like the heart of it all. You good, right? Mm -hmm. Love you, pieces. See y'all later, man. Love. Why you too, bro? My whole life, I've been afraid of people leaving me. But I learned that saying goodbye don't mean goodbye forever. True family never really leave you. Even if they aren't physically with you, as long as you keep them in your thoughts and your art and the way you live every day, they always gonna be there. It's too cold for this. Way too cold. You go one right up. Brianna tells me that she upset that me and Jen broke up. But come on, that's no excuse to get an after jump, period. What are you doing? Setting up you a suicide ramp. I'm not doing nothing. So I'm gonna reach deep down in my bag of tricks that I got from boot camp. I'm gonna teach her the last valuable lesson. Pay attention, this is what F graders get. I want you to run down to the end, run back, full sprint, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go! Do it again. <sighs> I have no sympathy for failure. I don't like this. I don't like F's on report cards. I want A's in the class. Only A's, you understand me? Tired. Get back all the way up. You're a champion. Good job. I'm proud of you. One. So we're going to do this every day until those grades come back up. I'm going to do this once a week, and you can start giving Jen flowers every day. What are you talking about? Get Jim back. Deal? I'm not going to negotiate with a teenager. I miss Jim. Yeah, I miss him too. The past few weeks has definitely been tough on me and my daughter. But seeing just how much it's affected Brianna is uh, definitely a wake-up call for me. Jen has been like a stepmother to Brianna ever since she was like seven years old. And I'm starting to realize just how selfish I've been. Things that's going on with me and Jen, I can't fix that. But you can. What you think I should do? You do a big prom proposal. A prom proposal? What do you mean a prom proposal? Like a really big gesture asking her to come back. You're going to get Jen back by any means necessary. Deal? Deal. Love you. Come on, let's go. The wrong day to tease me because I got all my wigs here. <laughs> You know, I need some bond. new girlfriends, if you know what I'm saying. Hey, dude, this is <laughs> crazy. Wait, put it in that staples in it. <laughs> What's up, bitches? What's up, bitch? <laughs> God, this is my <laughs> on the thrift store, bitch. Come here, give me some. <laughs> bitch, you dirty as hell, ho. These <laughs> make fun of me all they want about my wigs. But look, I know that you like to put on wigs, too. I can tell. Look at you. You're too happy right now, OK? <laughs> bitch, you don't want me calling me no bitch. <laughs> <laughs> What is it? Whoopsie! Oh, hey. oh my god. <laughs> what do we do, fabulous girl? You guys look. Come on, like you had. Ugly. 
hurts. What you doing here anyway? I'm trying to figure out what's the plan for Jennifer. What do you mean? For them oh, to like come back so, okay. together. Wait, 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 wait. Oh my God, this is just too cute. This is like that movie with Lindsay Lohan. Before the drugs and the alcohol and the arrest. What was Parent trap. That's it. You need a plan to get your girl back? Why you ain't call me for another advice, bro? I ain't want to just go get her no roses or anything, because, you know, I ain't want to get smacked with them. Oh, what the <laughs> <laughs> oh. I heard that, my brother. I think we can come up with a couple of ideas, Van. Van, I can guarantee you, Bree, close your ears. You so can my daddy says some more tattoo her name on your Johnson. What type of stupid is that? Let's just go show Jennifer that she been with a damn idiot for the last past eight years. That's it. Like, you you tell me what you think I need to do. <laughs> like, you take her. Wait, so you, nice. like, stealing her? Yeah, basically. Wait, where you get them ideas from? I like it. This is a horrible idea. We done gone from parent trap to the purge. Not only does it sound dangerous, but I'm sure she's going to think that you're a mother crazy as But at the end of the day, who am I to squash the innocent dreams of a child? I'll do anything at this point to get my girl back. Y'all in with me? You in? We in. Jen on three. One, two, three. Jen! Sure, man, you smashing them up food like you ain't had nothing to eat all day. I need to be ready for whatever the is about to happen. <laughs> we might go to jail. Being black and Mexican, that's just, that we're asking for something. I know, that's what I'm thinking <laughs> yeah, yeah, too. Yeah, like, yeah. this does not feel like. That's yeah. the only thing I'm thinking like, man. This what? feels like it's gonna go what? wrong for us. Yeah. Van's daughter comes up with this bright idea for us to kidnap Jen. Like, that's gonna make her take Van back. But whatever you want, Bree, <laughs> I'm with it. Yo. Listen, my daughter gave me the plan. I know where she at. Okay. She gonna be grocery shopping. We going in like we doing a heist. And I'm finna just jump out and I'm finna get my back. Oh my God. Okay? Bro, this Chicago, we might get shot. What? Shot, we might go to jail, boy. Are you serious about getting your woman back? Let's get it. Wanna get my girl back, man. Yeah. Oh, we definitely getting arrested tonight. But it's cool, I'm gonna put on some makeup so I look good in my mugshot. This looks really suspicious. <laughs> Y'all crazy. I go jam right there. Go, 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 let's go. Trucks putting bags over people's head. My wig almost came off. <laughs> I believe these are for you. Take this back, please. I apologize, baby. Let me guess. I made a huge mistake asking Jen for space, but this time away from her really lets me know how much I want her and need her in my life. You know, you did cause this, right? I know that I caused it. My bed is empty, my house is empty. I miss you. My daughter misses you, and I gotta have you back. What I really wanna do right now is. Um, what's that? My keys? Yeah. I think it was just like a pre engagement key ring. Come on, let me put it on your ring finger. No. <laughs> it's not funny. Would you take it back, baby, please? Why are you coming home? You can't say no to Brie. Please take that Do back. Do you know you want your daddy back? Take daddy back. Yeah. Hey. Oh, that's nasty right there. Yeah. Yeah. Ben is an idiot, but he's a lovable idiot, and I definitely love him for better or for worse. But he better be serious about this pre-engagement key ring thing, because I am not plan this time. Did y'all really come up with the whole sign and everything? Yep. Aw, Brie got me back, though. I really miss Brie, though. <laughs> y'all have a great night. Put this ski mask to use tonight, <laughs> all right? <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> 
got my woman back, finally. So tonight, a big night. How you feel? Like My goddamn stomach hurt? I got a This is the first day of me meeting your boyfriend. I'm just asking you not to act like a psycho. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay. Look, I know how teenage boys can be. I was only 16 years old when I knocked up Brianna's mama. So I could smell those little sneaky ass sleazy intentions a mile away. And if this little boy is planning any funny business with my baby girl, I'm gonna notice that before he opens his goddamn mouth. What's going on, man? What's up? How you doing? You sure? Yeah. What's your name, bro? Aaron. Well, Who? Aaron. How old are you? 17. You got tattoos, man? Let me check you out. Yeah. Yeah? You got a beard? <laughs> it's growing in. What is this? Yo, look, Brianna. It's my dad squad. What's up, daddy -o? What we got going on over here, man? I mean, I guess I forgot to mention to Brianna that she ain't only got one chaperone here. She got a multitude of chaperones. And they all fathers, and they all prominent figures in their child's lives. So if this little boy <laughs> up tonight, you might as well slit your own neck. I'm gonna lay out a little ground rules. This is y'all gonna be on y'all first date, right? Rule number one. Number one, son. When my daughter go through them doors, how she go get through them? I'm gonna open it for her. You gonna open it for her, right? Yeah. Number two, this is my queen. And you gonna respect her as such. Rule number three, right? There will be no physical contact in this show at all. Yeah, like none. Sit in the show with your hands yeah, on your pocket. Man. Put your hands in your back pocket yeah. and sit down. So don't be smacking on no asses. Ain't no feeling on no breasts. Ain't no kisses. Stop making everything weird. As Brianna's father, it's my job to make things weird. I'm not finna let her repeat the steps that I made when I was a kid. I trust my daughter. She's a wholesome little girl, so I know she ain't gonna do nothing crazy on the date. It's the little boy that I don't trust. But you know what? At this point, I already know I'm gonna be good anyway because I know he's scared of right now. So I'm cool. Now y'all go in there and enjoy your show. And we just gonna sit right here till you come out, bro. We'll see you in a minute. Thank you. Hey, hold that door for my baby girl, yo. You're like a police dad, like seriously. I'm so sorry. I did not know that was gonna happen. At least he let me date you. Daddy's watching. What you mean? You just gonna come in and just take off your jacket and you don't hug no nothing? Hello, hello, how you doing? How was school today? Good. I'm supposed to be getting a tattoo today. That's all you care about? It's just a tat? No, basically. What about my love? Brianna has been begging for a tattoo. I hate that she's old enough to be dating, but I can't respect the choices that she's made so far. You know, Brianna has earned this. So what this is what get? I want. It's actually nice. I know. It has a lot of detail in it. It's a scorpion, which is my zodiac sign. And you're gonna do it, you're my father. Let's get it started. Listen, you're growing up too fast, okay. all right? You got your little nose pierced, you're driving now. You got a boyfriend too? <laughs> I know Charles, okay, Brianna? He's kind of like a little friend to me now. Right, Charles? I like this tattoo a lot. I'm not gonna lie to you. You're a Scorpio, you get good grades in school, beautiful. Resilient, Van's daughter. All right, cool. Let's do it. Come on. Finally. Jesus. I love you. You know that? I love you too. I'll take you through the storm. Those rainy days. Those windy moments. Lonely moments. I'm a broken record when it comes to making mistakes in my life. But I can't say this enough. Despite all the mistakes I've made, the one purely and perfect thing I've accomplished in my life is raising this young girl. I couldn't hear a thing you said before it poured water up to my knees as I'm walking down the corridor. I told you what I'm looking for, what I'm pushing the button for, why I'm working my butt to becoming somebody in the door. Back and forth, all my thoughts turn into So with Jim back in my life and Brianna on a solid path, a lot of great things has happened for my life this past year. When I think back to how it started in such a bitter place, I mean, practically going to war with Ryan. What's up, man? You better relax, you boy. better relax. Play with me. How we've overcome some petty beef, becoming brothers again. I love you. 
It showed me even things that I thought was impossible still can come true. I'll take you through the storm when it's all coming down. The clouds are coming down. They kind of like brings me back to Jen. I'm really trying to be my best and make this work. That ain't even how you, you know, white and you bad. <laughs> I'm gonna do whatever it takes to make sure I never lose her again this time. And no, I don't know what Ryan's big surprise is, but no matter what happens, I'm taking care of my corner of the world. You ready to check it out, baby? Yeah. <laughs> I love thirsty stuff. <laughs> so you like it? I love it. You do? Yeah. <laughs> I gotta say that I do approve of it. It's beautiful. Good job. Good job. Jen and I wanted to have the keys to Brianna's new car so we could surprise her. But we end up getting a damn surprise. Blunt wrappers. Babe. Oh, this, man. I'm finna get to the bottom of it. Just stay calm, babe. It looks like my daughter's smoking weed in my house. And I'm furious about this. How was your mom's? Why I look so intense? What's this? You smoking weed in my mother house? Answer the question. I'm not sitting there playing with you. I think the question that we want to know is if you're smoking weed now. No, I was holding that for a friend. Listen, man. I'm not finna sit here, look you in your eyes, and you sit up here and lie to me. I just found some blunts in your shoebox. You need to be honest, but I'm giving you a chance. You're mine. You smoking weed in my mother house? I'm sorry. That's a good start, man. I don't really know. Honestly, I don't really understand or even know what to say to you right now. First is weed. It may go to cigarettes, lean. Pills. Pills. Sex. So you wanted the Land Rover for your birthday, right? Yeah. I went into my bank account and made that happen for you. And if I choose to give you these keys, that'll be a foolish move on my part as a father. I know I'm not the best of influence when it comes to marijuana, but I don't smoke marijuana around my child. I'm the parent, you the child. You gonna leave it as that. So, here's your brand new shoes. Get your ass ready for bed. Forget about driving your car anytime soon. It's crazy. So what's up, this your boy Van from Black Ink Crew Chicago. And if you wanna see more from myself and my people here at NADMAG, subscribe to the VH1 YouTube channel.